Hello and welcome to the Tuesday 2 o'clock Tea and Talk. Uh, my name is Aura McKay and I am a business coach and lifestyle strategist for creative entrepreneurs. And they hire me because they are looking to bridge the gap between their creative skills and talents and making money with their business. So I help them uh, simplify their marketing, create a predictable income framework, and master the business of creativity. And every Tuesday, I come here live on Facebook to have a conversation about business, marketing, and mindset. And today, I'm coming to talk to you guys about content creation. And <laughs> the funny part about this one, folks, is that, um, so where do my ideas come from anyways for the tea and talks? Where do the topics come from? And the truth is that often they come from conversations that I've had during my private one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions where someone has come up with an idea or a challenge or has faced something in their business that has inspired me to look at that idea or topic and to address it in, um, in the Tuesday 2 o'clock tea and talk. If you are struggling with content creation um, and have a specific challenge, let me know and I will see what I can do to help you. So most of my ideas for these conversations come from conversations that I have outside of Facebook. So they are conversations that I'm having with other creative entrepreneurs and I'm listening to what are their challenges? What are they having difficulty with? And um, there's a, a lovely woman named Melody Owen of Nutritious Truth, and she did a workshop a while back on um, content strategy. And that was super, super helpful because I got some great tips on how to uh, leverage content to be able to use it multiple times and some ways of thinking about content differently. So I'm just gonna back up a little bit and I'm gonna talk about like, what do I mean when I say content? So um, any of us who are doing any kind of marketing or promoting, if you have a, a website or a blog, um, if you have a Facebook page, an Instagram account, a Twitter feed, if you're posting articles on LinkedIn, if you're sharing any kind of information um, on the internet in a consistent way, you're gonna wanna try to you're gonna to have to create some kind of content, especially for things like newsletters and emails and e-blasts and all that stuff, content. So content is a combination of images and words. Sometimes images and video, sometimes just images, sometimes just video, but it's all the stuff that you share with the world. And the idea by sharing the stuff, there's all kinds of different strategies around that. What we're gonna talk about today is, where does that stuff come from? How do you get an idea for what to share and how do you create that? And quite honestly, guys, you know, today's topic is my situation right now. I was, um, you know, it's, it's 1.40 in the afternoon in Vancouver and I'm doing my, my conversation with you guys in 20 minutes and I don't know what I want to talk about and I'm like you know ah what can I share with you that's gonna bring value to you that's going to contribute to your life or your business success and so it was my own experience today that has caused me to come to the conversation with where does that content come from and for me, the content comes from a few places. So it comes from the conversations that I have in my, um, in my private coaching. So conversations that you might be having with your clients about um, challenges that they're having working with other creatives in your industry, um, challenges that they're having in figuring out how to hire or buy your creative services. The truth is, guys, people don't really know how to hire us. So sometimes offering content about, you know, working with a videographer or how to choose a, a great photographer or questions to ask your interior designer or, or event planner, those information um, bits of content can be very helpful. Um, I read an article. Just gonna have some tea. I see there's some people here. So hi. Thanks guys. Thanks for uh, joining me I have the you've got this mug today because I need the extra bit of inspiration <laughs> in creating content So 
there I was reading an article the other day and there were uh, three basic strategies or three basic sort of outlines that they offered when um, delivering content and those three are you want to deliver content that creates um, affinity so when your uh, audience is consuming your content however they're doing that on social media um, through email um, whatever they're you know YouTube however they're consuming your content they feel like you get them so it's sharing um, images videos messages words that um, create a sense of affinity that your audience feels understood that they feel like you are one of them and so that's kind of what I'm doing today is I'm creating a little bit of affinity by saying you know what I didn't really know what to say today I didn't really know what the content was gonna be like I was struggling to come up with what can I contribute today um, so part of the strategy and content is to think about well what kinds of things could I share that would create affinity that would help people feel more comfortable or feel like they are understood the uh, the second thing that you want to consider um, when creating content especially for social media is a sense of authority so lots of times people are interested in getting to know us so that they can like and trust and try and buy from us so they're getting to know us because they believe that we have some level of expertise or some level of professionalism so sharing content that demonstrates that you have some expertise or experience or are knowledgeable in that area or um, have some kind of authority so the first is affinity and then the second is authority so you are a professional fine art photographer and you're looking at expanding into decor so um, what some of the authority things that you could offer people in sharing um, information would be um, so like maybe for your fine art you might say something like you know uh, just went and spoke to my lab and we were talking about specific paper to make sure that your fine art prints last a long time and here are three specific tips that you can use once you've invested in a piece of fine art to make sure that your investment lasts so that could be the kind of content that would demonstrate some authority in your area um, if you wanted to talk about your decor photography you might say something more like um, how to choose images um, to decorate any space or you might want to talk about how you worked recently with an interior designer or decorator to optimize a space so the first thing that you want to do in sort of so social um, media channels in terms of content is you want to create some kind of an affinity and then you want to look for authority and finally the third thing would be an announcement or an advertisement and it's about even on each about 30% affinity about 30% authority and about 30% um, announcement or advertising where you're sharing an offer where there's some opportunity for you to support your audience further or some opportunity for you to provide them additional value um, or buy something from you or make an investment so when you start thinking about those sort of three different kinds of ways of organizing content sometimes that can inspire you to think about okay well what could I offer that might be able to fit in one of those three areas of affinity authority or um, announcement the other thing that I do to think about um, content and please let me know if you had any questions about those three or any thoughts about whether or not those would work for you and for your industry and if not um, let me know and I'll see if I can uh, help you find a way to apply them specifically to what you do creatively the other way that I figure out or find content is that you can actually recycle content um, the truth is that many people when they're first getting to know you they don't go back six weeks eight weeks ten weeks and look at what you posted three months ago or four months ago and many people have short-term memories so even if they've seen it before sometimes being able to see it again can 
freshen it up for them and bring it back for them. And the truth is when you look at how many people actually get to see that content that you've created, that you worked so hard on developing, that email that you, you know, painstakingly wrote for hours on end, um, not very many people see it. So when you're creating that content, when you're creating a, a video or a Facebook Live or an article or a blog or something that is um, that is valuable to your to your audience, not very many people are going to see it. So don't be afraid to recycle it, to reshare it, to revitalize it and revive it and bring it back to your audience because chances are they didn't catch it the first time around. So um, some sort of data and stats that I got probably, I guess it was about a year and a half ago now, um, said that you get about six weeks on Facebook and um, and then you can go back and start recycling some of the information that you've shared before. So. If you don't know what to share and you're struggling with content, go back and look at your own timeline, look at your own posts, look at your own blog posts that you've shared that you wrote maybe say six months ago and they have an opportunity to be shared again. And instead of just resharing them, to share them as if you were sharing for the first time, to offer them in whatever channel you're offering them as if it was the first time. So you don't go, oh, hey, I shared this like six months ago, blah, 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 blah. Like, don't excuse it. Offer it again for the affinity authority that it can provide for you. So for instance, you would say something like, hey guys, you know, sharing this great blog post um, or this great post from my blog on limitations and structure and how that really supports creativity. Hope you enjoy it, love to hear your comments. So that gives you an opportunity to, to really leverage content that you've already created. Because guys, let's face it, we are creators. We're constantly creating. And most of the time we're creating um, in service of our clients. And then to be creating additional free content can be a bit of a struggle. It can be tough to come up with new ideas all the time, all the time. As I do have one more um, thought to share with you about content creation and how to minimize that struggle in your own business. So my last thought uh, for today on content creation is about going back to your marketing strategy. If you have an overall marketing strategy, that can help you simplify and focus in on what kind of content you might be able to use um, in your marketing channels. So for instance, my main marketing strategy is edutainment. So I want to inspire, I want to teach, I want to um, help you learn and actually implement. I love the idea of doing it in a way that's energetic and exciting and creative. So edutainment is my main overarching uh, marketing strategy. So when I can um, share something with you that fits within that, that is inspiring, that um, teaches you something, that um, includes a mindset or business strategy, then I know that I'm on track with my overall marketing strategy and that my clients and my prospective clients and my audience who counts on me to be consistent is going to respond positively to that content. So. Having that overall marketing strategy is something that just every single day that I think about marketing, that overarching marketing strategy and the work that I did to create it and the other pieces that are part of it help me simplify and help me get to the place of being able to continue to provide value to the audience. You guys. So that's how I deal with um, the struggle of content creation. I'd love to hear what your struggles are or any great ideas that you've come up with that you can share with me and therefore the rest of us about how you're dealing with content creation and content strategy. Um, again, I will post a link to uh, Melody Owen's work on content strategy because she does some great stuff. But um, and. That's it, I guess that's it for today. Let me just check the time. Yeah, I think we're good, guys. If you have anything else, please let me know in the comments. I always go back and check. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next week on the Tuesday 2 o'clock Tea and Talk.